the BJP and the Congress are trading bombs over the Grand Old Party's promise to conduct a wealth survey, as well as the comments made by Overseas Congress Chief Sam Petroda on the inheritance tax in the United States. But this is not it. Ahead of the second phase of polling tomorrow, party leaders are also locking horns over quotas in Karnataka. Amidst all of this, the Prime Minister has opened yet another front in the war of words between the BJP and the Congress. He has hit out at the opposition, stating that they have come up with a one-year, 1 p.m. formula and will change the Prime Minister every year if elected to power. The Prime Minister has stated that different parties under the umbrella of the India bloc are busy auctioning the Prime Minister's chair and will prop up a fresh PM every year if voted to power. The opposition bloc has not yet revealed their Prime Ministerial candidate, even as we are well into the election season. Well, as the discourse over a stable government is on in political circles, we ask if the India bloc is all for one or all for all. Before we, in fact, deep dive into this debate, let's also listen in to what the Prime Minister said. लेकिन अभी कुछ मीडिया रिपोर्ट में आया है कि मोदी बार-बार पूछ रहा है कि वे बताओ तुम्हारा नेता कौन जिसको किसको सुप्रुत करे तो बोलते हैं उन्होंने फॉर्मूला बनाई है उन्होंने फॉर्मूला बनाई है कि कौन प्रधानमंत्री बनेगा कहा जा रहा है कि ये लोग वन ईयर वन पीएम फॉर्मूला बना रहे हैं यानी एक साल एक पीएम, दूसरे साल दूसरा पीएम, तीसरे साल तीसरा पीएम, चौथे साल चौथा पीएम, पांचवे साल पांचवा पीएम। बताओ भाई क्या होगा देश का? क्या होगा? क्या होगा मुझे बताइए। देश बचेगा क्या? आपका सपना बचेगा क्या? आपके बच्चों का भविष्य बचेगा क्या? इसका मतलब ये पीएम की कुर्सी का भी ऑक्शन करने लग गए हैं भाई बताइए जो बोली बलेगा एक साल बैठेगा और मजा क्या होगा फिर जो एक ऊपर बैठेगा ना चार लोगों कुर्सी की टांग पकड़ करके बैठ जाएंगे और मौके की तलाश में रहेंगे कि इसका साल पूरा कब होता है all right, let's talk about this. Savi Rodriguez, BJP leader, joins us on the show. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, Congress spokesperson, also with us on the program. Mr. Sumit Peer, senior political commentator, also joins us on this conversation. Last but not the least, advocate Manasvi Thapar, political analyst, also with us on the show. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, I'll begin with you. First up, your reaction to what the Prime Minister said. Is this what happens when, uh, you know, the principal opposition of the country, you know, basically fails or is unable to pick out who the leader of the opposition is going to be, who is going to be the prime ministerial candidate. You know, this is a mystery which definitely in the longer run, according to the prime minister and according to uh, political pundits also, will hurt the Congress party and all its allies. But I'm interested to know, what are your thoughts on what the prime minister said? I think it's, we need it's funny, but it's sad. Was Prime Minister part of the India Alliance meetings where strategy were being devised ki ek Prime Minister for one year? No. Or was he snooping the uh, phones of the leaders? You can never tell that. I think the level of political discourse the Prime Minister is engaging in lies, defame, distort, malalign the facts. So, so Dr. Pooja, perhaps what the Prime Minister is saying, you know, it's, it's not that, uh, you know, it should be... Taken in actual terms, what he's trying to say, let me set a context, what he's probably trying to say is that the instability uh, is going to matter when the India bloc comes to power. Go on. I think what we are fighting against also is an over-centralization of power. Look at the Bharti Janta Party's manifesto, 46-page manifesto with some 70-plus pictures of Modi ji in different poses, different attires and, uh, you know, different scenarios. This centralization of power and the dismantling of federal structure. What has this centralization of power that a municipal election would be fought in the name of Modi, a Vidhan Sabha elections, 
अमित शाह जी इन कर्नाटका से ये मत सोचिए सुनिए कि आपका कैंडिडेट कौन है विधानसभा में ये सोचिए कि आपका वोट मोदी को जा रहा है अगर आपने मोदी को वोट नहीं दिया तो आपको सेंट्रल का आशीर्वाद नहीं मिलेगा लोकसभा इलेक्शंस डोंट सी विच कैंडिडेट इज देयर इट्स इन द नेम ऑफ मोदी दिस सेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ पावर बॉर्डरिंग ऑन अथॉरिटेरियन हैज जस्ट यू नो हैज कॉस्टेड कंट्री डियरली दिस इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु हैज कमिंग बैक टू अस हु इज कमिंग बैक टू अस फॉर द थर्ड टर्म ऑफ हिज ऑफिस एंड ही इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज वर्क इज नॉट टॉकिंग सो यू एग्री ही इज कमिंग बैक फॉर द थर्ड टर्म ही इज नॉट ही इज आस्किंग फॉर द थर्ड टर्म यू जस्ट सेड दैट व्हेन इज He talks about mutton. He talks about what's much least. Talks about Muslim League. He mentions redistribution. Where in the 36th page of manifesto of Congress, nowhere uh, redistribution is written. He talks about the very tax. The ball has fallen in his face. The self goal. We saw how Jayan Sinha and Anu Jaitley supported the very tax. Inheritance tax. So what I'm saying, this is Prime Minister Modi. He goes on to say, "Ki aapka mangal sutra le lenge, aapka sona le lenge." This is the same Prime Minister and Bush Senior. the pandemic occurred and the indian women uh, made gold as their collateral just to survive worth rupees 10000 crores of rupees the banks advertised it in, in, in huge numbers and this is who has you know overnight demonetization plundered and looted people this person is telling you aapka sona le lenge ki aapka mangal sutra le lenge i mean there should be level of political discourse where what is your vision and road map for unemployment what is your vision and road map for inflation what is your vision and road map for the country aap sapno ki baat karte hain two days back there was a lalan top video jisme ek choti si bachchi ro rahi thi ki main rogungi to main mere maa baap aur mere bhai bahan ko kaun sambhalega समथिंग अराउंड एट टू टेन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड आप उसके सपनों की बात नहीं करते आप बात करते हैं कि मुस्लिम लीग है वो सावन में मटन खाते हैं इनहेरिटेंस टैक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज लॉस्ट द प्लॉट द रिड्यूज वोटिंग परसेंटेज एंड द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ वोटिंग इज क्लियरली इंडिकेटिंग Well, look at his desperation. He is not talking about his manifesto. He goes on to the uh, uh, yeah, mic, who takes the mic, and he just started accusing Congress. You are here. You are a prime ministerial candidate, na? As you say, ki sabko instable kar denge. Log sochenge ki me, me prime minister banu. And that's why I think you are uh, uh, sharing your game plan here. You are el- eliminating all the competitions gradually. But India Alliance has some very formidable leaders. And when we okay. make a uh, government in fourth of June, a parliamentary board will sit. The parliamentary committee will decide who will be the prime minister. As simple as that. That should be the way, na. First pass the post parliamentary okay. system, democracy. All right. So, Not this with centralisation of power and Modi fight uh, the election that has become this. All right. First up, uh, Sumit, do you concur with uh, Dr. Pooja that there is centralisation of power? And second, do you think that? Uh, the prime minister is trying to give another message when he says that uh, 1 pm for one year perhaps he is uh, trying to elucidate that uh, there is going to be uh, you know so many allies and so much to in fact uh, uh, you know eat off of each other in this alliance that everybody would want the biggest piece of the cake as possible uh vinay thank you very much for having me on your show The problem is when you ask a question to a Congress person, they will talk you Earth, Sun, Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, and and aliens, but not the real issues. If Prime Minister Modi has done nothing and everything is so hatter scatter and everything is in such a disarray, then Rahul Gandhi ji is the next Prime Minister of India, unelected. Tension in here, five so far Congress. So why are they worried? They should be happy. They should be celebrating. Modi ji has done nothing. Or demand decision was a failure. Balakot was a failure. Surgical strike was a failure. Increased GDP is a failure. Increased foreign exchange reserves is nakli. Immunization is nakli. Make in India did not work. Anything but Prime Minister Modi did did not work. And it is all the grand ideas of. the congress party which have sailed the country through for is it wrong that in 84 that congress abolished the tax because mr rahul Ga- mr rajiv gandhi was supposed to get the property of mrs indira gandhi they abolished the wealth tax is it wrong that rahul gandhi ji said yesterday i've seen the video main ek krantikari vichar la raha hu that is i'm getting a revolutionary vichar hum survey karayenge hum aankalan karenge aur fir hum jinko hoga unko denge what does the krantikari vichar mean if it is not redistribution now the idea is here is when congress is testing the firing the solvos and they are failing falling flat then people like our good friend uja ji are sent to the tv and they try to ask to defend the undefensible you know as a good spokesperson she is trying her best to defend the undefensible but this is what rahul gandhi has said this is what he means this is what he said now what is the need of a financial survey what is the need of uh, this uh, will assess the wealth of the people because when it has started backfiring he doesn't know what to do right. and 
you know, when Prime Minister Modi is telling us, I am thinking of that, according to media reports, there will be a 1 p.m. every year. What takes our good friend Pooja ji to deny here? Yes, sir, bilkul galat hai, aisa kabhi nahi hoga. I will, I can guarantee you she will not deny it here because she doesn't know even what the program is. I, I am thinking it might be even for a quarter. Modi ji is charitable with his words. My assessment is per quarter. Pehle quarter tum, dusre quarter tum, tisre quarter tum, chote quarter mein. That is how they will do. You in corporates, you already have this business and you know assessments per quarters. So India will have a new quarterly system. And I proposed them long back on music that why don't you do this because you don't have a prime ministerial candidate and. Prime Minister Modi has all the things in the world which are which make him bad, evil, and all. But what is your alternate to Modi ji? Come on, get us an alternate. The whole nation of 1.4 billion people is talking. Mr. Modi is not the best person. What is your best, the best person who is Mr. or Miss who is going to replace Modi? You have not given the name so far. Even you and I will ask you, Pooja ji, will you today say that Rahul Gandhi ji is not a prime ministerial candidate or Rahul Gandhi ji is a prime ministerial candidate? You can neither say yes, you will neither say no because you don't know what that is going to happen. In India Alliance, Mrs. Kejriwal runs his own agenda. Everybody is running his own agenda and mm. they want to redistribute the work. They want to divide the Hindus. They want to loot and plunder this country. What about the MOU with Chinese Communist Party? What is in that MOU, Pooja ji? Wo badayenge, MOU jo Shrima Rahul Gandhi ji ne sign kiya tha, usme hai kya? Now, with all those things of redistribution and all happening, what you want to do is you want to dismantle all the industry here. You want to make this country, you know, uh, Venezuela. Then in next year, you want to make it Rwanda. Then you have a signed MOU with Chinese Communist Party. The Chinese come, will come and rule us and we'll be enslaved for generations to come. But when Prime Minister Modi is stopping all this, when Prime Minister Modi is taking the GDP 1.8 to 4.1 trillion, highest ever foreign exchange reserve, highest ever exports, highest ever economic growth, most sashakt we are from a military perspective, they don't have nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer constructively and they are talking of redistribution okay you distribute ambani ji's wealth so for two months everybody is happy what what will what what will happen on the third month will you produce another ambani in three months you will distribute ambani in his wealth what will happen in three months will you produce another ambani now what why do you need to do the wealth survey why do you need to assess the people's wealth what is your business in that if that is taxpayer's wealth where does rahul gandhi's lokai come in assessing what my wealth is what osavio's wealth is what your wealth is we can be rich, we can be very poor. What gives him the loci? What gives him the power to assess, do a survey about my wealth? I'm not talking about me as a person, about the millions of people watching this broadcast. Why should anybody's wealth be put to a scrutiny? And what is he going to do with the survey? Okay, you have Mr. Ambani is the richest person. So are you going to auction Antila? Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, are you going to sell his cart? Sachin okay. Tendulkar, are you going to sell his farmhouse? Adani, you're going to take his work, work, workhouse, you know, warehouse. Whom are you going to distribute this wealth? And does this, again, I'm asking this question from two days. Does it only apply to a Sachin Tendulkar, Rajni Khan, Ambani, Adani, Ruiya, or is it also applicable to a Shah Rukh Khan, who is also rich, Salman Khan, and by the way, Azim okay. Premji? Okay, it's all right. All right. You don't even know that. Nobody will answer that, Vineet. Nobody okay. will answer that. All right. Okay. Savio, your response to this, of course, the Congress Party once again targeting the Prime Minister, calling him a Tana Shah, calling him a dictator. Uh, is, is, are these, uh, you know, cracks in the opposition that the Prime Minister is uh, you know invoking or do you think that there are actual challenges that uh, should be read out by the opposition uh, because the mood of the nation you know is obviously going to go towards an alternative which provides stability you know, we need to you use the right uh, phrase cracks in the opposition because the opposition is actually full of cracks so, so let me take my good friend Pujas points in answer them in step by step manner. The first point she raised was on Modi, right? Why is Modi the face? Centralization of power. Now, please understand that people follow a leader, a leader who inspires, not a leader who perspires. That's the <laughs> idea of leadership. Leadership is about seeing a vision that is driven by a general like you would in an army by a prime minister like you would in a country, by a pope as you would in a religion, in this case, Christianity. Are you going to say, taking an example of the, the Catholic uh, religion itself, are you saying that because the pope decrees a particular way of, of functioning of the Catholic Church, so the other priests are not important? Please wake up to the reality of working in a team and not in dynastic politics. That's point number one. Point number two, she raised the issue of Mangal Sutra. And Mangal Sutra was countered 
by Priyanka Gandhi Vadra saying that the Mangal Sutra of her mother was snatched away. Can I ask Dr. Tripathi here, DMK, a political ally of the Congress, was known and has been vocal about its support to the LTT leader Prabhakaran. Hmm. The, people, come, the people who are responsible come, for uh, Rajiv Gandhi's death. How come you have gone and allied with the same political party that is responsible to being aligned with LTTE? Please tell the people of India that. Point number three. You spoke about the various camps of Modi ji, right? During Modi's tenure. Let me ask you. Our research has indicated that during the UPA era, the total number of scams in terms of quantum, when quantified now with inflation, is roughly 45 lakhs, 97,926 crores. And who are the ministers involved? That is why PM is saying one prime minister every year. You had somebody from DMK, you had people from the Congress, you had people from BRS, you had Mamta Banity that was involved in it, you had people from NCP that was involved in it. So every political party who was in the UPA was involved in this 45,97,926 crores. And I'm taking that amount with inflation as on this month, the value. The third part is unemployment. But before that, let me ask her, when the Prime Minister's Prime Minister Modi's government came into power. Do you know how many fake, duplicate, non-existent and ineligible data was found wherein people that did not exist were getting government benefits during the UPA era? Ration cards, 442 million. Benami, bank accounts, 52 plus million. LPG connection, 46 plus million. Narega job cards, 78.3 million. Beneficiaries of in women and child development industry, 9.88 million. I can go on and on. The mm. point is, you are looking at a systemic change happening in India over the last 10 years. The inability of the opposition, the indie bloc, to decide on a prime ministerial phase shows that it genuinely lacks leadership to lead a country. What it is looking at is dynastic politics and politics of a few people that control a political party because they belong to a particular family. The fourth most important thing was on demonetization. The whole purpose of demonetization was to ensure that black money that existed came back into the system. And 97% of that money did. Because the money at that point of time, people thought okay. would have no value if it All right. I think uh, okay, okay. We, we, we've uh, said enough. Let's get a response from uh, Dr. Pooja Tripathi as well. She's been making notes. Uh, Dr. Pooja Tripathi, need I in fact uh, rephrase what has been said, or uh, would you like to counter what has been said against the, uh, the con uh, against your party? And of course, let us not forget that uh, you know the past for the Congress Party and the UPA is also tainted. Uh, please look at things for the way they are. That's in fact something that all politicians and leaders, uh, you know, sh should themselves subjectively be doing. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Rodriguez was talking about a leader who leads and not, uh, who leader who inspires and not perspires, quote unquote him. So in the last decade of uh, Modi government's rule, 154 journalists have been uh, arrested on the charges of uh, uh, you know, reporting against the government, 15 of which actually demo brought Can out. Can you please tell me, Pooja? No, doctor, no, what Savio, happened, Savio, what don't interrupt. Savio, India. Savio, Savio, let us, let what us speak. To India. Savio, give the proper facts. Savio, Savio, all right, okay. What happened to Nupur Shah? Savio, Savio, no, Savio, no, let's not have a parallel this debate over here. There's only one debate happening. I listen okay, to you. Ahead. Don't interrupt, card. please. Don't, ahead, don't stop ahead. anybody. Yeah. When All you right. say a leader who inspires and does not perspire, your inspiring leader, leadership, why is he not listening to Sona Vangchuk and the thousands of Ladakhis who have been protesting in minus degree temperatures 
and just asking the uh, restoration of their pastoral lands no your leader won't say a word on it one who inspires your leader one who inspires brought up three farm laws and had to take back because farmers stood their ground in spite of 750 farmers martyring themselves your leader one who inspires was <coughs> the close to 1 lakh uh, youth migrated uh, traveled to delhi from bihar close to 1 lakh in the uh, in uh, protesting against the agnipat scheme your leader didn't meet them close to 10000 asha and anganwadi workers uh, protested in delhi jantar mantar your leader who inspires didn't meet them if in kanpur in lucknow everywhere youth protested against the paper leaks your leader who inspires didn't meet them your leader who is sitting at the cusp of 8000 crore electoral bond 23 turn turn cause the cases were dropped should has no moral conscience has no moral authority to talk about corruption in the country when you say when the upa was tainted they were given an alternate deal. you know the country looked for an alternate when he said na khaunga na khane do ka and the glaring uh, discrepancies that came into electoral bonds 21 companies they were raided and then they gave electoral bonds they were they went scot free 33 companies they were they were uh, uh, registering minus or negative taxes they gave electoral bonds worth something around 582 crores there were 19 companies who were non existent since last electoral bonds as a condition that you have to be uh, functioning for at least 2 years and they were they were uh, not functioning 19 companies there were companies who failed drug regulatory checkups they gave electoral bonds things are gaga they were come the auctions of telecommunication has been uh, wiped off from the uh, and the, it has been given to monopolization has been given to one company and these are the companies look at silkara tenor who has done gross irregularities in the in the projects they have completed and they have been given projects for 35000 40000 10000 crores so when you are sitting at the cusp of electoral bond scam and you don't have any authority to point fingers when when four fingers are pointing at you so this is the leader who inspires giving us the biggest highest unemployment uh, rate in last 45 years a back breaking effect chinese uh, who is actually aggressing at every corner and then this is the leader who inspires who is not ready to speak on his vision was not ready to speak on his manifesto okay. who is just raking up muslim okay. league right. is raking okay. up advocate manifesto uh, manasvi thapar is also joined us Manasvi, you've joined us a little late, so you've missed out on a lot of fun. Let me say that. But uh, if you're aware of what we are talking about, the Prime Minister has said that the instability in the India bloc is going to result in a Prime Minister being changed every year. Uh, do you think that there is uh, actually uh, relevance in this statement, considering that the opposition still finds itself scrambling for a leader who can represent them at the national level? See, if I talk about the historical context of our country, that India have had 14 prime minister, but what prime minister is saying that every year that is going to be changed, I don't think that is even even historically making sense. But since since he's made a statement, we have to debate, we have to talk about it. Presently, what it looks like that India bloc is a weaker bloc in comparison to uh, the prime minister's bloc, which is the NDA. It looks a weaker bloc, but that does not mean it, it does not know how to govern. Congress has governed the country since long. They know how to govern. They have had a, a best of best leaders, and everyone has worked out very well. So that's not an issue. So we may we may have a different opinion from the present government to the previous governments, but that does not mean only a, briefly there was during the VP Singh's era till the Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji's era and Manmohan Singh ji's era. That time there was some kind of a weakness in the government of our country. But uh, before that and even after that, well, while Prime Minister is having a stable Sarkar. even before that there was no such a changing of guards every every year happening in our country so i don't think historically it has happened or if india bloc come, comes in power today okay. or in, in the future will have that kind of a repercussion which the prime minister is making uh, it on on a on a platform on a public platform yes he has to make a statement like this only then he will gather some kind of attention from media uh, i don't think there is some logic out of it all right sumit so, you would you like to respond to that that the prime minister perhaps has said this without thinking it through we need if you think prime minister modi talks about without thinking it through he won't be the most <laughs> repeated 
world leader 10 years down the line on a constant basis and you know incidentally you know prime minister modi thinks because because he doesn't talk about ek taraf se aloo dalunga ek taraf se sona nikalunga he doesn't talk about bed sheet ke ped lagaunga aam ki factory lagaunga aam ki factory lagaunga you know those things he doesn't talk about the ex- escape last year of the jupiter he doesn't talk about so many fantastic things and so we were seen he doesn't talk about he wo gale kisi se padte ho he he wo gale padte nahi right wo kisi ke gale nahi padte Now, when he talks, when Prime Minister Modi talks, the world leaders stand up and say. When the Australian Prime Minister says, "Modi is the boss," I mean, it was all concocted. It was all a screenplay which was written by me. I sent him a note. I said, "Mr. Australian Prime Minister, you have to stand up and say, 'Modi is the boss.'" When Donald Trump, when the global leaders, when Joe Biden comes for his autograph, it was again a screenplay written by me. I mean, chitti bhi jee saab zara saab se sign mang lena. So you know, unfortunately, these privileges are not given to Sri Ra- Raj- Rahul Gandhi ji. So that is why he is not seen. you know if you talk of a leader if you have if you have 150 plus mps leaving you and 390 mla is leaving you during your tenure that is the biggest victory of rahul gandhi during when he has entered the politics congress has lost maximum number of elections he has the guinness world book of losing maximum number of elections and here if modi ji loses one municipality ka election people are there to write the political obituary of bjp in india that is what they fancy about but it doesn't happen now is the world media all compromises joe biden compromises the australian prime minister compromises benjamin netanyahu compromises french prime minister compromises mm-hmm. is yoe is really leader compromise is the global south leader compromise the prime minister of fiji who touches the feet of prime Mr. Modi is he compromised? Joe Biden asking him to send the signature. Did I write the screenplay for that? Australian Prime Minister saying Modi is the boss. Did I write the screenplay for that? You look at how much we have improved our relations globally. And there was a time. There was a time. Okay, we have a paucity of time. Doctor Pooja Tripathi wants to come back quickly. Quickly, Doctor Pooja Tripathi. I'll come to you. Pooja wants to respond. Pooja wants to respond. Yeah, go ahead. मानसवी Uh, I think I think it is it is not about Rahul Rahul Gandhi's credibility as of now. Why? Because he's not the prime minister. So the world leaders or whatever in the past, India had started non-alignment movement and India had led that movement, and that was a great remarkable thing which India could have done. Just out of independence, we we created a non-alignment movement, and the world followed us. We didn't go to the blocks of uh, U- USSR or USA. We created our own identity. That was done by Jawaharlal Nehru. And that particular time, we would believe that uh, right now we would say that he is the worst prime minister India could ever had. But that was the vision India had produced then, and people loved it. And India's footmarks in the world was also shown that. So I believe that all the prime ministers have done their greatest job while they were the prime ministers. Not that this particular batch of 2014 onwards prime ministers are going, going to do the great jobs. Previously, also our ancestor ancestral prime ministers have done amazing work. So let's okay. criticize that and only say that right now is the best time. Even otherwise, we, India has been glorious since last 10,000 years, and India is going to be glorious in the future also. All right on that note we're going to dip into a short break would like to thank all my guests for being a part of this conversation for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon